The best copywriter is not the fastest, the most concise, and not even the most creative. No, the best copywriter is the one who has full understanding of the market, of the product he's selling, and of the avatar he's writing to. You see, the most asked question in my Discord server last week was on how to properly do market and avatar research. So today I'm going to reveal my own research blueprint that I've refined to perfection over the last year and then leverage this AI in order to make me the best copywriter I can possibly do. From the entire thought process I follow to identify my avatar to the exact prompts I give to ChatGPT to help me to market research. So if you are a copywriter, open your Google Doc and get ready to take notes because what I'm about to show you can easily double your level of copy in a matter of minutes. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. Now there are two different types of avatar product and market research based on whether we're writing a sales email or a sales copy that has the goal of getting them to click or we're writing an email or copy that is only providing value. There are two different types of product market kind of research. And in this case, let's start with the one for sales. So we're going to first of all list the steps for both. And then we are going to go and check how it's actually done. So step number one, list the main benefits of the offer right here. And uh, the main benefits of the offer are, for example, is there a guarantee or is there a promotion? Then we're going to have to identify the product's market and niche. If it's an email copywriting course, then it's email copywriting. If it's a real estate mastermind, the niche is real estate. Then we're going to ask GPT for the benefits of the market and niche because that's very important. We're going to identify the avatar who is that we're writing to. Okay, what are his desires and pain points? That's because desires and pain points are a very important factor when we actually tackle them into taking an action. And finally, to find the angle of the email, how we want to pitch this thing, we're gonna do market benefit plus avatar desire, and that is our angle. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so we are here on my Google Doc, and let's go ahead and look at the product we're trying to sell, pitch, or whatever. This is the product, which is, which is basically my seven-day email copy camp where I teach email copywriting from scratch to your first client. And what is the main benefit of this offer? The juiciest part that is going to make people buy. It's the 100% guarantee, 100% client guarantee. So when we go here in the main benefits of the offer, that is what we're talking about. Why would they buy the offer? Is there a time limit, a spots limit? Where, where can we play with the urgency or benefits? And that is... Uh, are 100% client guarantee. Now, what is the market or niche of this product? Email copywriting. And now we need to ask ChatGPT what are the benefits of the market or of the niche? And I use this prompt as a niche. What are the best, what are the benefits of doing niche in terms of lifestyle and freedom? Now, here the prompt doesn't sound so good, but let me explain. In this case, instead of niche, we're gonna use email copywriter. So someone who is in the niche. So as an email copywriter, what are the main benefits of doing email copywriting? Okay, in terms of lifestyle and freedom, since it's something that has to do with money and skills. For example, if we were to put the real estate, we, here we could have put as a real estate agent, what are the main benefits of doing a, a real estate in terms of lifestyle and freedom? That was the same thing. Instead of niche here, we're going to put someone who is in the niche. Now let's take this and let's paste it in ChatGPT. Now, as you can see, ChatGPT gave us 10 different benefits and I'm gonna take each of them and paste it in our Google Doc. Okay, now that we have them and they are flexibility in working hours, remote work opportunities, creative expression, continuous learning, income potential, independence, networking opportunities, work-life balance, variety in project, impact on business success. Let's keep only the ones that are actually, you know, important. So impact on business success, Nobody cares. Variety in projects, nobody cares. Uh, creative expression, nobody cares. Everything else, here we have flexibility in working hours, that's a big benefit. Remote work opportunities, this means location freedom, okay? Continuous learning, I mean, not as important. Income potential is how much you can make a month, so that is equal to I, high income skill or a high income market. Independence is uh, financial freedom. And the first one is equals, like the benefits that is equal to it is time freedom. 
down here, you know, there are little, there are smaller um, sort of uh, benefits, but we can keep them. Now, let's go look at who is our avatar, and we start with the sex and age. So, the avatar is, a, in my case, a male uh, of age between 15 and 25. Now, what are the main desires of my avatar? Uh, making money online. Dropping out of college. Dropping out of college. Being independent. Providing for the people they love. Leaving their home country. Leaving their home country slash traveling the world. These are the main benefits. These are the main desires that my avatar the person i'm writing to wants now what are his pain points like his kind of uh, sort of problems that are in the way one of them might be a uh, non-native english speaker okay which you know it's a pain point when it comes to email copywriting lives in a third world country his parents push for college or nine to five Everyone around them has a 9 to 5 or studies or goes to college. And finally, I would say a pain point that is common is no budget to invest or like little to no budget, little to no budget to invest. So now we're here on the angle. And as I said earlier, we're going to have to do a desire of the avatar plus a benefit of the market and niche. So we're not just picking two random ones. No, we're picking two that are connectable. So for example, one of the benefits here is location freedom. And we can see that it's, it matches with leaving their home country and traveling the world, okay? So that is already an angle. The angle is location freedom plus traveling the world. And now this is going to be the angle we're going to use to introduce our offer. We need to write some sort of copy that leads to us saying, you're going to have location freedom, you're going to be able to travel the world, or I was able to travel the world, and it all was thanks to the product, you know, the product niche, email copywriting. And if you want to learn email copywriting, here is the course, okay? You use this angle to introduce the offer or the product and that is why it's so powerful because we already know the avatar wants it and we know that the mar and we know that the product can give it to them okay so this is how you do it when you have a product to sell now in case we only want to provide value to our reader the situation is different as and as you can see the steps are less we're going to start by identifying our client's market or niche like we did earlier then we're going to identify the avatar who are we writing to we're going to identify the list of desires and pain points, and then we're gonna ask ChatGPT for the angles. We're not gonna use the angles. We can ask ChatGPT for the angles of the email or of the copy. So let's see how it's done. So we're back on our doc. I copied and pasted the same things as earlier for the avatar and the desires, the pain points, or whatever. And now we're gonna ask ChatGPT for the angles. And the way we do it is with this prompt. I'm a client's niche, so I'm an email copywriter, and I have an email list with our avatar, their desires, their pain points. I need to send out an email that provides value to my email list, considering my niche and the people I'm writing to. Give me five angles, topics for my email. So I'll first of all go ahead and personalize the prompt with our informations. I'm an email copywriter and I have an email list made of guys between 15 and 25 years old. This is the avatar who want to. These are all the desires. Start making money online, drop off to college, become independent, provide for the people they love and start traveling the world. Their pain points are that they are non-native non English speakers, live in a third world country, and their parents want them to go to college. At the same time, everyone around them has a 9 to 5 and they have little to no money to invest. I need to send out an email that provides value to my email list, considering my niche and the people I'm writing to. Give me five topics for my email. Now, the small detail I'm going to add is they already know, and this is the market awareness. How aware are them of your thing, of your product, of your stuff. So they already know, since I'm an email copywriter, 
what email copywriting is, but they are not to earn money with it yet. They need to get a lot better. So now I take this prompt and I paste it into ChatGPT. And as you can see, ChatGPT gave us five good prompts. I would say four out of five of them are actually that we can use because, I mean, we don't have to have five. All we need is one, but this just gave us five angles. So one of them is overcoming language barriers in copywriting. So in this case, are tips on improving English writing skills because, as we said, our avatar is no native English speaker in our case. Then another one is striving as a copywriter in a developing country. How can you find clients if you live in India, in the US? That would be a good fucking email. That would be some good copy to write and a good email to send out to my email list. Then balancing family expectation, careers expectation. These, sometimes, it's all good. I don't really like this prompt. I don't like this angle. I would not use it. But this is why ChatGPT is for idea generation. Then you are the one who picked the idea, not ChatGPT. It just gives you the end and you pick the ones. Then starting your copywriting journey with minimal investment. How to start copywriting with zero money today. That is a good email. That is already a good angle. And then case studies from zero to hero. Basically what it's saying is provide value by showing other people's success, how other people did it, how you did it. This is the angle. You kind of have to understand what ChatGPT gives you. My angle is not starting your copywriting journey with minimal investment. No, my angle is how to start copywriting with no money. Okay, you have to take it and then move it. So just like that, you now know the exact process I follow before writing an email, before writing a piece of copy to understand who is my avatar, what product do I have to sell? Do I have to sell a product? Who, what is the market looking like? What are the benefits? What are the desires? What are the pain points? All things that if you understand, you're going to be able to write much faster. But not only that, if the angle is right, if you pick the right angle, it's just going to hit the reader differently. So now that you have all of this, uh, your copy can easily double by just doing this process before starting to write. It's going to take you around five minutes before every email. And I think it's freaking worth it. Stay tuned if you like the video. Share it, share it to, I don't know, subscribe, like, like, comment, whatever you want to do. The email copy camp, which is my course that we use in this video, you find it down here in the description. And as always, stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.